Hello students, so I am Chibutasha here. How are you all today? So I am back again with another video for Science DLP Year 4. So before I continue my lesson, please don't forget to like, share and also subscribe my channel. Okay, so what we'll be learning today is we will be looking at using space, time, a relationship. What does it really mean by using space, time and relationship? Okay, so uh, until standard 3 you wouldn't be learning this uh, one this science process skill it is a new uh, science process skill for you for students in year 4 so please pay attention here yeah? okay so we'll be using a uh, notes from our textbook of science dlp year 4 textbook at page 6 so this is the page of the textbook that we'll be talking about today Okay, before we continue, let's see what does it mean by using space-time relationship. Okay, space-time relationship are describing changes in parameters with time, such as location, direction, shape, size, volume, weight, and mass. Okay, location, direction, shape, size, volume, weight, and mass, these are parameters. So, these are all, all are connected to the time. So, we will see how does it connect it. Okay, so let's see here. So, this is the definition given in the textbook. Uh, using space-time relationship is a skill that describes changes. Okay, of situation or phenomena based on changes in parameter over time. The example of parameters are location, direction, shape, size, volume and weight okay these are the parameters so one example that teacher can give you now is uh, for example we have uh, lighted a candle so it was maybe uh, the candle was 20 cm when you lighted the candle so after one hour the height of the candle has reduced to 15 cm so the Space time relationship that shown by lighting the candle is uh, after the, the as the time increases the height of the uh, candle decreases so that's how you will relate the time and also what is happening to the height the shape of the candle so that's how you relate to the parameters so uh, we'll see one example here so what can be observed uh, when a popsicle is placed under a sunlight for 20 minutes so now we're gonna use this using uh, space time relationship so let's see so when you first place the ice cream under the sunlight so this is how it looks first but after 10 minutes you can see it started to melt and the shape got irregular okay and after 20 minutes that shape uh, it have melted more and also the shape uh, has got much irregular and it also has reduced in size so what we can we talk what we can we tell about this popsicle let's see so they having a conversation let's see that one the popsicle has changed its shape and it became in smaller size changed in shape and became smaller size so this is your observation okay so whenever you are doing or you are relating using space and time first you have to do your observation so this popsicle has changed its shape and become smaller in size so the change in shape and size is called the parameter the shape and size so these changes are called the parameter so what we're gonna see is what is the relationship between the shape and the size of the parameter and the time taken based on the investigation but because these skills that you are looking at is using space and time so we're gonna connect the parameter to the time okay so let's see so as the time increases the shape of the popsicle becomes irregular and the size becomes smaller so you can you see they connected the time to the shape and also size this shape and size are parameter so they have connected it 
Therefore, the relationship between space and time in this situation above is as time increases, the shape of the popsicle becomes irregular and it decreases in size. So it's very simple. It's like you're making hypothesis. We will be learning about it after this topic, after this skill, where you have to connect the time and also parameters. So as you can see, the parameters are location, direction, shape, size, volume and weight. So these are the examples of parameters and you have to connect these parameters to the time based on the experiment that you are doing. So this using space and time relationship is actually a very simple thing but you have to identify what are the parameter and is it suitable for the experiment that you are conducting. So that's all for today students. So it is a very easy topic, very easy skills. I hope you all understand and thank you for spending your time with me. And also don't forget to like, share, also subscribe my channel. Thank you.